Hi friends, in this video we are going to learn about measurement of volume. Now the definition of the volume is the space occupied by the the space occupied by the body is called volume of the body see here the volume is the space occupied by the body is called volume of that particular body now formula volume is equal to length times breadth times height now v is equal to length times breadth times height this is the formula for volume now units CGS unit of volume is centimeter cube and SI unit of volume is meter cube. Now conversions. One meter cube is equal to how many centimeter cube? We know one meter is equal to hundred centimeters. One meter cube is equal to which can be written as 1 meter times 1 meter times 1 meter which is equal to we know that 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters so 100 centimeters times 100 centimeters times 100 centimeters which is equal to 10 to the power of 6 centimeter cube so 1 meter cube is equal to 10 to the power of 6 centimeter cube or this can also be written as 1 centimeter cube is equal to 10 to the power of minus 6 meter cube now volume of some regular bodies Regular bodies means the bodies which have definite shape, definite shapes. So now I see some of examples of the regular bodies. First example is cuboid. This is the diagram for the cuboid. Volume of cuboid is equal to length times breadth times height. And the second example is cube. And the diagram for the cube is volume of cube is equal to L cube since all sides are equal. Third example is sphere. This is not a circle, it is a sphere for differentiating. See, I am drawing like this.
this is sphere now volume of sphere is equal to 4 third times pi times r cube where r is the radius of the sphere and the fourth one is cylinder diagram is let it be height of the cylinder and this is radius so formula for volume is volume of the cylinder is pi r square h and the fifth one is cone this is height of the cylinder and the radius so volume is equal to one third times pi times r square h now volume of irregular solids how to measure the volume of irregular solids for example i am taking here stone see by using the measuring jar we can calculate the volume of a irregular solids see I, here i am taking a one jar measuring jar which is about 100 ml see here the measurements will be like this initially it was filled with some liquid i have taken as water about 50 ml the level of the water is 50 ml after dropping the stone in this see initial reading is this 50 ml after dropping a stone in this its level will be increased to 75 ml its total it is initially 50 ml now how to calculate the irregular uh, bodies of the volume now volume of the stone is equal to final reading minus initial reading so which is equal to final reading is 75 ml initially it was at 50 ml so which is 25 ml so now volume of the stone is equal to 25 ml like this we will calculate the volume of a irregular bodies i hope you like the video please do like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video